Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Cairo tutorial series. In this video we will learn about mutable and immutable variables, constants and shadowing. Cairo uses an immutable memory model. This means that once a memory cell is written, you cannot override it. This is why Cairo variables are immutable by default, meaning that once a value has been assigned to a variable, the value cannot be changed. However, there are some options in Cairo to make variables mutable. Let's start by opening our Cairo projects folder in our terminal and create a new SCARP project called variables by using the SCARP new command. Let's go inside our project and open it up in Visual Studio Code. Inside the lib.cairo file, Let's remove all the example code. We'll start by importing the print trait from the debug module and declaring our main function. Inside the main function, let's start by declaring a variable called x by using the left keyword and assign the value 5 to it. Next, let's call the print method on our variable. Now, let's assign a new value to x. And finally, call the print method again. Now, if we run the program with SCARP Cairo run, we will get a compilation error. We get this error because we tried to reassign a new value to the immutable variable x. Let's go back to our code and make x mutable. We can do this by adding the mute keyword after let. Let's run the program again. Now it compiles successfully and we can see both the old and new values of x printed in our terminal. Similar to immutable variables are constants, but there are a few differences. Constants are always immutable. Constants can only be declared in the global scope, and constants can only be set to a constant expression and not to a value that could only be computed at runtime. We can declare a constant as follows. Note that for constants, the type of the value must always be annotated. The naming convention for constants is to use all uppercase letters with underscores between words. Constants are especially useful for values that many parts of your code need to know about. That's why constants are usually kept together in a single place inside the project. Lastly, let's talk about shadowing. Variable shadowing refers to the declaration of a new variable with the same name as an already existing variable. Or in other words, the first variable is being shadowed by the second variable. This means that the second variable takes over the use of the variable name until either itself gets shadowed or when the scope that the variable lives in ends. Let's examine the code in this main function. Once again, we created a variable called x and assigned the value 3 to it. Next, we redeclare the variable x by using the let keyword again and assign the value x plus 1 to it. Then we use curly braces to create a scope, and inside this inner scope we declare the variable x once again with the let keyword, this time assigning the value x multiplied by 2 to it. Next we call the print method on the inner scope value of x. And finally we call the print method on x once again, but this time outside the inner scope. Let's run the program. As we can see in the output, the inner scope value of x is 8, which was the previous value of x multiplied by 2. In the second print statement, we see the outer scope value of x is 4, because after the inner scope ends, the outer scope variable x is no longer shadowed and returns to being 4. The main difference between shadowing and using the mute keyword is that with shadowing, we have to use the let keyword every time we assign a new value to a variable with the same name. If we don't, we'll get the compile error that we saw in the beginning. 
With shadowing, we are essentially creating a new variable, which means that we are able to change the data type of its value while reusing the same name. This is not possible with the mute keyword. Thank you for watching.